So, business is thriving, is it? We are the future. Well, given the last year, there's obviously been blips, but we've adapted. How many businesses can say that? Hmm. Accommodation-wise, what are we talking about? I mean, it says here 15 to 20... Chalets. Oh! <laughs> What's wrong with chalets? Uh, nothing, except it's not 1962. Chalets. They're more... Now, look, I'm not being rude, but they're more your generation. No. Glamping pods. Yurts. That's what the kids want nowadays. Gabriella. Yeah? We're just uh, going through some accommodation options. So, let's say your boyfriend was taking you away for a long weekend of strenuous physical activity. Would you rather stay in a cool, sexy yurt or some dusty old chalet? Well, actually, I've stayed in a yurt before and it, it was really, really disappointing. Oh. So you're, you're not an adventurous girl then? No. No, not really. That's a pity. But hey, what would I know? You two are the professionals. Yeah, that's right. We are. Why don't you get that? Well, yurts, chalets, whatever. We can go through the finer details later with Jay. Uh, we're done? For the moment, yeah. Smile, Kimberly. You've got yourself an investor. I'll touch base over the weekend. Get me your son. Now. Jamie's not here. Of course he's not. Look, I don't know what's going on, but... Jamie! If you want to see Mummy alive, better get in here, quick! Sorry to interrupt, but, uh, can I go? I mean, this is obviously a domestic issue. Well, it depends. Are you going to tell anyone? No, 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 I swear. This has nothing to do with me. I'll call you. Yeah, don't bother. I'm not getting involved in all this. The deal's off. Nice to meet you. Oh. oh, there you are. Get over there. Go on. Listen, Moira, just don't hurt anyone. All right, no matter what he's done, it's just not worth it. Go into the kitchen, Gabby. No. Just do as she says. And don't think about calling anyone. And look, whatever. Shut up. For once in your life, close that smug mouth of yours. One word, just one word, and I swear I will pull this trigger. You see, I've had it. I've finally cracked. All those petty vendettas trying to take Kane's garage, my land, and now this. Well, congratulations, you finally tipped me over the edge. Moira, please. I... No. You thought you could just leave me there, didn't you? Lying at the side of the road. I truly am sorry. Like hell you are. You're so sorry that you tried to set my barn on fire when my stepson was inside. I, I didn't know he was in there. What? I... One word. I meant what I said. We both know that's not loaded. Oh. Is that right? You think I'm playing? <laughs> now you. Tell me why I shouldn't do the world a favour. Because I, I, I swear to you, I won't cause you any more trouble. It's over. You have to believe me, okay? I, I don't want anyone else hurt because of me. I don't want anyone lying in a hospital bed or, or a grave. If you'd have hurt so much as a hair on Kyle's head... I'd be pulling the trigger myself. If only I could believe a word you say. You have my word. You just couldn't keep quiet, could you? Well, I warned you, but you just had to push it. Moira! Stop! Bang. Next time, both barrels will be loaded. <laughs> <laughs> 